It might not look like much from the outside, but behind this fence is a thriving temporary community garden recently opened to the public. Union Street Urban Orchard occupies a formerly disused, privately owned site in Bankside, South London, and consists of 85 fruit trees, a scrumping shed to make cider, there's even a ping pong table made from a skip. The orchard was developed for the London Festival of Architecture by, among others, the Wayward Plant Registry, a group of volunteers who rehouse and exchange unwanted plants. I met up with landscape architect Heather Ring of the registry to find out more. It's a quite amazing um, plot of land um, that's derelict, but it's slated for development, so it's an interim space. And, um, and in order to kind of create a celebratory event for the London Festival of Architecture, we decided to transform this into a large-scale plant exchange um, in the form of an orchard. So the orchard is 85 different fruit trees and countless other edible plants and wayward plants that the uh, community has brought in and they will all at the end of the project in September when the orchard is dismantled go to the community so it's one big plant exchange. One really wonderful use of um, of interim spaces is growing food and using them as sort of allotment sites of different forums. And so the orchard is a very productive landscape and it's also a community garden and it brings people together. Um, so it does a few things. One, all of these trees are actually sparking other small projects um, around the area um, as they kind of move into um, different estates and schools and things like that. Um, and it also kind of mobilizes different communities of people who can then kind of be activated for other projects as well. Um, and it just, yeah, it shows people, it kind of helps them to visualize what a place can become. It, well, Lake Estates, who on the site have been really generous, and this is not the first time they've done something like this. Two years ago for the London Festival of Architecture, they um, had a project called the Southern Glido by the French Collective Exist, um, which was a really wonderful swimming pool project, which was quite short. It was only a few weeks, I think, um, but it really was an imaginative project, and we have... Um, in our landscape, which is all reclaimed and recycled materials, um, we've reused a number of the structures um, from that project and transformed them into new things. So they had sheds that were used as um, kind of uh, pool sheds and sleeping areas, and we transformed them into a seed library and a greenhouse and a cider making shed and um, a tea house. So yeah, so I think that project has sort of taken a new life in ours.